Yellow! How you doing, G? Good to see you, dude. Thank you well, sir. Um, how's your week going, sir? Done. Yeah, it is, G. Nice, dude. <clears throat> and it's the weekend. Do you have a bank holiday in Sweden and stuff like that? Do you get that extra day off? It's Friday and Monday, or are you scuppered? I'm just curious. I think. Let me just double check that patch, make sure that patch is downloaded. Always the way, isn't it? Uh, downloads. Good to go. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I got extra paid out today. Nice. Mind your ears, guys. Next game. Man, hello, hope you're doing well. I'm, I'm good. How are you? Uh, oh, audio settings. Nice. I'm going to leave that music on just for a moment because I am not getting sound. My TV, which is not good. So, where's it going? Oh, now it's worked. What the? Ah, disabled, disabled. Where's that going? Disabled. What if I disable that? There we go. How weird is that? That's the second time that's done that, where I had to physically go in for it to kind of pick up. That's unusual. Oh, good dance watching your stream and eating chips. 
what's not to like? Oh, dude, well, um, depends on where you are. Are you talking chips as in crisps, or are you talking chips as in potato, um, chippy, fish and chips, chips? You know what I mean? That's what I'm talking about. Let's do this! Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you are in the world. I hope you're doing absolutely fantastic. TFTC1 going live, and what can only be described as a Wednesday. It is, and it's a Wednesday because I don't care because I'm on holiday. I've been on holiday for this week, so nice. Um, I'm going to wish you cheers and good health. Start the stream as I always mean to do by opening a cold can of cherry coke. So cheers and good health for that. Mmm. Today, me and Lisa spent some good time together. Uh, it, was, it was nice, actually. We've been out most of the day and stuff. Um, what I really wanted to do was create some content this week, but, you know, kind of. Then I thought, nah, it's time to relax. It's time to chill. We have sound options, apparently. I'm just saying. We have sound options. So the first thing I'm going to do is delete the music. And the reason why I delete the music is because, as a content creator, uh, if YouTube picks anything up, it tends to be an absolute stinker and a pain in the backside, which is not what we want to do. I'm going to click continue. Evening all. Hope you're doing great. How are you doing, Graham? Good to see you, Welcome dude. Welcome to Pearl Hope Harbor. Well. The strike group will return here after every successful mission in order to prepare for the next one. Nice. Upgrades for the strike group can be purchased here. Every upgrade will cost upgrade points. Have a look through the different tabs, sir. Each one will allow you to manage a specific aspect of your strike group. Nice. Uh, the crew is the heart and soul of the aircraft carrier. In the full version of the game, you will be able to upgrade both your crew members and officers on this screen. The amount of crew slots on the ship can be upgraded here, sir. Doing so will increase the number of crew members on the carrier. In the full version of the game, you will also be able to upgrade your officers and increase their numbers. We may as well go through them all then, don't we? This is where your true power lies, sir. Or in this case, lies. These are the machines to be sent out into battle at your command. So do make sure they are well prepared. Here you can increase the amount of squadron slots available on your flight deck. Seen, bro. This means that you will have more squadrons ready for orders at a given time. Nice. You can also upgrade each of your aircraft models, improving their efficiency in battle. Nice. So there you go. Crew, aircraft, let's have a look on at the carrier. This screen, you can purchase upgrades for various aspects of the carrier, sir. If you wish, sir, you can give your aircraft carrier a name by which it will be remembered. In the demo, there is only one carrier class available to you. But in the full version of the game, you will unlock more of them as you progress and be able to truly customize your fleet to your liking. I get it, but that's kind of a little off, isn't it? The box These is a little off. See, that's fine there. Available for purchase. A Have a there. look through them, as they are sure to come in handy, sir. <laughs> Have a look through them, so they're sure to come in handy. That's like the, that's like the can't be. I've done that one, done that one, in a rush. Ah, have a look, you'll be fine. There is strength in numbers, <laughs> so even a powerful ship such as your aircraft carrier like does it. not travel alone, sir. Here you can set up your naval escort. Similarly to ship upgrades, your escort has an effect on the strike group statistics, shown up here. You can upgrade your escort size here. It will let you add more vessels to your strike group, sir. This is the list of all the ships currently in your escort. Nice. Click on them to replace them with different ones. Each ship provides a different bonus. So do use your expertise, sir. So, uh, two upgrades. The first thing I am going to upgrade, because I want to cheat, is um, I'm going to open an upgrade slot here. And I want a submarine. And the reason why I want a submarine is because the active skill scotting bonus is plus 200 miles. Hey, Longbow, how you doing, sir? Good to see you. 
Don't tell me if you complete the mission. I was watching Longbow earlier, uh, doing Solomon Island. Solomon Island is my arch nemesis. Uh, I have seen you, Brian. I have seen the Please Do Gates of Hell. I want to do Solomon Island first, uh, just to get it out of the way, slash fail or succeed. And then, if I have time, I will absolutely have a look at that. But I am off on holiday this week, so it's a question of, yep, I'm going to do it. Um, for sure. So, I'm going to take the submarine, because the submarine offers you kind of a wider distance. Okay. If you want to see what each uh, ship does, then you can kind of just hover over them uh, and it'll tell you there. So, escort carrier, uh, supply ship, cargo ship. What I'll do is I'll leave it there. If you're watching on YouTube, just pause it and you can instantly read it and stuff, okay? Light cruiser, destroyer, and a submarine. I like the submarine just because it gives you that kind of... Um, Thanks, Longo. It gives you that kind of additional view, if that makes sense. Thank you, sir. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, c cargo uh, and supply ship. Supply ship is kind of, that's exactly what it says, it supplies your aircraft carrier. And cargo ship is, um, I think, where's it? The uh, cargo ship. Active skill instantly repairs two broken squadrons. Okay, so what happens as your aircraft go out and come back in, they'll take damage. As they take damage, they need to repair over time. You can increase the repair efficiency by uh, assigning people within the uh, tower, but, you know, that's that's that. And the second thing I want to do is I want crew, believe it. Oh, do I want aircraft? Oh, you see. No, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go for crew. I'm going for crew. Every crew with kind of two bars on, so this good here, you, you can see now that we can actually upgrade this fella. So we can have him in engineering, additional efficiency when assigned to the engineering department and air department. So I'm going to have two because that gives me two air. Um, oh, deck, you beauty. That's quite nice. And these two are kind of rookie slash noobs. So we're not too bad. Not too bad on the setup. So as you can see, we've got no skill points. We haven't got anything. We can't do anything. We can change the name of the boat to USS No Hope or whatever whatever we want to call it. It doesn't particularly matter. Um, that's down to you. I can't do Solomon Island. Oh, have I got to do the first one again? No. Oh, no. The game's done me dirty. No. Thanks, Longo. Appreciate that, dude. Oh, okay. So we got to we got to start from scratch. Okay, and to be fair, you know, because I'm always <laughs> always open and honest. The first two minutes of this actually me going live, I thought I better check to see if there's a patch, and it's a good job I did because there actually was a patch. I've just we downloaded the latest the patch. Sea Admiral. The last scouting report confirmed. The enemy uh, yes, Goffman. Absolutely. As expected. They will approach from here, here, or straight through okay. this location. We can count Let's on do this, baby. support from land-based Australian scouts. Our recon has identified two harmless fleets in the area. No aircraft carriers were spotted. As a reminder, our main objective is to defend Port Moresby. Based on the CIC analysis, the optimal position to launch an airstrike against the invasion fleet is from Zone G7. Cool. Um, invasion time is 47 minutes. Let's go. So the first thing I'm going to do is go to the... Oh, you're just going to make me the do this, aren't where you? you will control plane deployment and recovery. Yep. I'm, gonna get, I'm just going to hit go on that. You guys can look at that help. So that help, by the way, is, is very, very useful. It's well worth recovery. spending a couple of minutes yeah. going through that. I'm not going to, just because I'm a lazy dog. Okay. Dazzer 1810, how are you doing, dude? Good to see you. So G5, it wants us to head over to there. So let's just head over to there first. Okay, um, uh, my bad, sorry. You left click on your aircraft carrier and then right click on uh, where you want it to be. And that's how you select a movement, basically. So left click, left click, and then right click. And that sets your destination. Come up here to the old uh, controls. And I'm going to hit it speed. Cheers and good health, guys. Cheers, G. Have a good one, dude. Good to see you, brother. Tier 1, man. 18 months. Thank you, dude. That is massively and greatly appreciated. Thank you, sir. Truly, truly, truly appreciated. Uh, so, the first thing I'm going to do is bring up a couple of fighter planes. Just because I can. Um, let's go through the, the people. I want to sort out my crew. You see, this geezer is in anti-air, right? And he's got the little deck symbol. So, I want him on the deck. And we had another one, didn't we? Did we have another one? No, we suck. 
So air department here, and air department here. These two get bonuses in that efficiency. Medical. If you put people in medical, you'll see we've got two medical patches down here. No good to me down there at the moment. So I'm just going to move them over here. Navigation. Absolutely keep people in navigation. Uh, in fact, I'm going to move him over to navigation. I want three people in navigation. Uh, are these guys I can kind of move. So deck and damage control. Engineering department. Each crew unit protects one department slot in the ship. And when the damage increases efficiency in ordering repair planes and squadrons faster. So this is kind of the engineering. This is how you get your repairs, repair planes repaired quicker. Damage control. Each unit provides an additional damage control. So we, we only really need one in there actually. So we can kind of get that, leave that and then that will give us one. Uh, no, I'm going to have two. I want two and I'll show you why I want two. Okay. Um, so we can move these. So what's going to happen now is because we've got these little people that are walking... Our efficiency drops in those departments while they're walking to that said department. Which means, of course, we, we now can't go full speed. Okay, so that's new. So we now have four submarines. I'm not quite sure why. That camera is really slow. 360's back, baby. Nice. Nice. So if we have a look down here, we can see recon, recon, identify targets and airstrike. These you can change, okay, so it's time to, we've done the people, we've got two kind of uh, boats up in the air, and I'll show you what, uh, two fighters in the air, and I'll show you why I've got two fighters in the air. That's just what you need to do, and this is the fact that we have been spotted, okay. As soon as we can get full speed, we will. One takes you to your deck, two takes you to the side of your ship. So this geezer here, the first thing I'm going to do with number one damage control team... Yes, sir. Is move them over to here with a little flood symbol. That is damage control for flooding, shall we say. And then the second one is you see the little hammer here? Those little beauties. When the second damage control team's team comes online from here when he gets there, you'll see another little one here. You put him in that kind of maintenance. It's preventative maintenance, not actual maintenance. In fact, there you go, he's just arrived. So on in fact I'm gonna move him to there because I have one as there. Uh, sorry, two is there, one is there. I don't care, I'll, I'll let them run, it doesn't matter. It's just my, my personal preference, how you do it, entirely up to you. Okay, now here comes, the, uh, here comes the interesting bit, as in kind of aircraft carry survival maintenance. You can see here I've got a recon, a recon, an identified targets, and an airstrike. I much prefer having two, um, uh, two type of airstrike missions. You can see here, see how it's got... Time Can I hold it? See how it's got here, the two times recon missions. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change that to two times airstrike missions. And these have now turned to airstrike. If I go over it again, you'll see they change to recon. And I'm going to change it to... How do I get this game? Uh, Gachette is on Steam and it's called Aircraft Carrier Survival Prologue. And I believe it's released today. So you should be able to download it and play it. Oh yeah. And on that note, you just clicked X in the top right hand corner. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> and view account drops one. Woohoo! See you TM! Sucker. <laughs> no, help yourself sir. But as I'm talking through, you may learn something, so you might want to stick around for 10 minutes or so, and then you go. See you later. This is the very first mission as well, by the way, so you might want to, you know, just say. So I'm going to have two airstrike missions, because that's the way I prefer that. And then down here, you can see here that I can have um, kind of a defense. Do I want to do that? I also want to repair my fighters because my fighters are out mainly. You can see you can set waypoints there or additional damage controls. I'm good. So how are you doing, dude? I am pretty good. That's that's kind of allow setting waypoints. So there's, there's bridge settings or navigation room. Allow breaking radio silence. I couldn't honestly tell you what that does. I have no idea. And one additional damage control. So you can set multiple waypoints basically for your boat. Um, flood or damage control in the radio room. I normally have it on default. But if you have a lot of floods, then you can obviously set it number one. Fault, you can have it set as number two. I have it set as number three because it's kind of 50-50. Identify targets. So what I'm going to change this one here. Below deck. Sir, damage control is needed. So if we go to damage control, okay, and have a look, see what's going on. So I'm just going to scan to the right of the boat. I don't see anything at the moment. 
And there, so we got a fire. Nice. I'm going to take these guys here, which is number one, and I'm going to move them because I know number one is is here. Okay, and it's just it's just a lot more efficient. Do we have? Yeah. So we've now got full power again because everybody should be where they need to be. In fact, let me show you that because you can zoom right in as well. There we go. You see a little white bar going up on the side here. Move the mouse. That's how much progress has been made within the task that you've assigned them to do. So if they're clearing a room or offering medical assistance to individuals, flooding, you know, that kind of thing, it shows you the progress there. Happy days. And donezo. Look at that. Good to go. Straight out the door. Fire protective equipment. Yes, Overrated. Health and safety. More fires on this boat, to be honest. <laughs> There's always fires on this boat. Keep scrolling to view cam. Nice. Um, where was I? I was in here. So I want a recon mission. So I want. Ah, okay. If you have a look in the top of each room, you'll see like a little blue or orange symbol. And that blue or orange symbol means your captain. In the top corner, you'll see a blue or orange symbol. Only blue officers we can go into a blue room, a red, or sorry, the orange can go into an orange, and the captain can go where the chuffy pleases. I'm guessing once you upgrade the officers, you can kind of do whatever you want to do. Ready, so, so this dude here, I want to put in here. Uh, yeah, I want to put in here, purely and simply because I want a recon mission, okay? There we go. So I now have a recon mission, airstrike and airstrike. That's the way I roll. And then I'm going to take this blue dude and bring him down to here. And then what you can see here, you can add an additional airstrike mission, which means I can have three airstrike missions, which is not horrendous. I can have a defense mission, or I can have an aircraft carrier cap. And that's what these are here. A cap, a carrier cap, and scouting. Okay. Use this mission to greatly increase the spotting range around the strike group. Enemies within that range will be automatically spotted without the need for a recon mission. Very useful. Okay, so that, that kind of gives you the tower and your control. You can set that. Once you've set it, you can just move the, move the individual out of the room and that kind of stays and stuff. Happy days. We are on our way. How much do you think this game is? Well, at the moment, Gachette is free, dude. It's a prologue. You just download it. Um, how much is it going to be upon launch? That's a good question. Um, I generally don't know, and I don't want to say a price because that would be rude of me. If they, if it goes under, then you get a bargain. If it goes under, you get what TM says. You know, that's not my position to say. That's kind of um, yeah. That's down to the the devs and the publishers. I'm guessing their conversations that they have will uh, decide what it is that they want. So I'm just going to sit here at the moment. I've got a nice cheeky little uh, cheeky little kind of two fighters on there which is a scout plane if you like a recon and I don't I don't particularly want to launch those at the moment I, I don't feel any burning need to do that okay mission objectives you can click the mission objectives up here just in case you kind of get lost I've actually got a big red dot on mine because apparently somebody's watching on Steam <laughs> also available on Twitch and YouTube just think, just think, just think. So everybody's finished moving where they need to move. You can, if you really, really want to be efficient, know that I'm not moving aircraft now. So you could move people out the air department into other areas if you want to. How you play the game is entirely up to you. I've always said that. What you do in your game is up to you. Me personally, just test it. Have some fun along the way. Try some really stupid things that may or may not work. That's that's the way we roll. You know, it's, that's up to you. Right, so we've covered this. Uh, in fact, we haven't covered this. So this section here is, well, that, that's the camera. You can kind of click on where you want the island. So you haven't got to press 1, 2, 3, and 4. So keyboard 1 is your deck. Keyboard 2 is your uh, underneath, if you like, side view. 3 is your island. And then 4 is your free view camera, which you can do just by clicking these buttons here. Personally, I just use 1, 2, 3, and 4. If you're really smart, you could probably map it to a key mouse or a button or whatever. Uh, Anyone got twenty dollars for not finishing the mission? <laughs> Rebel. <laughs> Thanks, brother. Hope you're well, sir. Back peppermint tea, yummy. Oh, nice. Cheers to that, man. Cheers, guys. 
Mm. Nice. So, within your carrier group, which you to set within the harbour, we have a supply ship, which I, I will demonstrate how you do that. You basically call in the supply ship, and what it does is this zebra-looking thing here. It pulls up to the side, and it resupplies your vessel. The faster you go, the more planes you launch, the more planes you uh, recover. Everything you do, consume supplies. It's up to you to maintain and manage your supplies. You run out of supplies, the boat stops. You can't recover or launch. Just say it, okay? You can also have a look at the escort carrier, so I can send that off as a decoy. Tactical map information updated. Nice. So I'm guessing that will be up here somewhere. We are going to absolutely raise time in a minute once I've gone through here. We're going to launch a scout up to here. See what we've got and then see what we need to launch. Actually, I was watching um, Longbow earlier. Thank you for the follow, dude. New enemy found. Let's have a quick look at this. This has got a destroyer, a torpedo boat and a light cruiser. I have peps. Pe Pepsi? I think you know someone and you can get disappointed. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So I'm not too sure. See, the scouting here costs you two. Do you know what? Let's do that because that's within range, right? Launch aircraft. These two fighters are here. And then I'll show you how Longbow does it, which is completely different to the way I do it. But I actually think his way is better than the way I've been doing it. Okay. How you do it, up to you. But for me, I I have always done um, a, a full deck. So, but I'll show you that in a sec. Uh, cargo ship is obviously instantly repairs. And to use this, you just basically left click. And the same for the submarine, I just left click. And it, it basically utilizes fucking ability, if that makes sense. Okay. Aircraft carrier, at the moment we're setting launch mode. This here is the items that are queued, so you can see that this is launching the mission, which is what we've just told it to launch down here. And then recovery is you change the aircraft carrier deck to recovery, and then you can recover aircraft instead of launching aircraft. That's the map, so we can see this bad boy. Speed. And people. Hover, uh, hover over each area, and then you kind of good to go uh, supplies and stuff so defense is this one's quite important actually your defense your defense at the moment is two or our defense at the moment is two quite sucky actually to be fair um, what you'll see is a little fighter plane to appear on here so they might have a six or an eight which is there basically it's the old D and D dice of six plus two or two plus whatever okay so what you need to do is if they have a six you need to even match that or be better than that to reduce the damage your aircraft carrier is going to take number of ways you can do that you can launch a cap uh, carrier air defense mission if you like and that will add two defense to up here so that will be two fighter planes so you get two fighters press the cap that launches that goes up to four bosh happy days but you're still a little bit short um, so what you can do is you come down here in the bottom left hand corner it says current orders and you can see here position defense and see how that's going to give you uh, that actually gives you plus two for three hours okay gain two defense for the carrier for a couple of hours because basically they, they move in um, and what it says there see how it says two see how it's got underneath it's got the orange and the blue and what I was saying about this here the two orange and the blue so what you would have to do is go to the island here and make sure that the uh, the captain is in for instance uh, here one orange then you have another orange so there's your two orange and one blue okay so if your captain is in there and there you've got two blue and one orange here you couldn't do that that order is you couldn't carry out that order just then okay just then uh, invasion time is 42 minutes. Well, I'm feeling quite confident. We are on the move, we're on the bounce. We've got a couple of recons out. Um, now let's have a look at this particular ship. So this particular ship here, right? So 
what I would normally do, and what, what I normally do, is I normally have three torpedo boats up here, two dive bombers, a couple of fighters, because that's the way I like to do it. When I set a mission, I can just launch the darn mission, okay? Now, the way Longbow was doing it, and I'm going to show you how he does it, because I think it's better. And I learned something just by watching his stream. So I'm going to click launch. It tells me there. It brings up the launch attack window, okay? So I can, for instance, bring up um, a seven. So there's an 11 here. Attack and defensive maneuver five equals 150%. Bosh. So let's do that. And then I want to do that. Okay. So that's locked. Uh, let's have a look what we've got there. A fighter plane. Attack of manoeuvre 1 and 5 plus 100%. So I obviously want that in there. Okay. Uh, let's have a cheeky dive bomber. So what I'm looking for is some real high numbers like this bad boy here. Look at that. Straight to 14 because of this one here. And then normally 3 is kind of support-ish. So defence, defence and attack of 1 and 2 plus 8. So you can see here that this one says zero. Okay. And the reason why this says zero is attack and defense of... Man of uh, uh, modifier of the maneuver three and four is disabled. So bosh and bosh. So three and four. That's why you've got a padlock here. Okay. Which kind of sucks. You could change this around all that you want to do. But basically what you see here is this strategy ensures a total annihilation of the enemy forces. And you're like... Hell yeah. So I'm going to confirm that. And then I'm going to pick up my uh, fleet there. And I'm going to confirm that. So now what I need to do is go back to my deck over here. I have a look at this and it says I need three torpedoes, two dive bombers and a fighter. It's actually what I normally have up. But that's not the point, is it? So one torpedo, torpedo two torpedoes, three torpedoes. Two dive bombers, dive bomber, dive bomber, and a fighter plane. And that's the order queue full. And what that means, the order queue full means that this guy here now is telling me to bring up all those other aircraft. Okay? But at the same time, what we've done is, I know this has worked out quite fortunate, the fact that this is what I would normally have on deck. But, in essence, um... You can work out all those calculations for total annihilation of that. Happy days. Okay. So you can go, you can fast forward time because obviously we don't just want to sit here and watch aircraft come up. Oh, uh, uh, some people might. Some people might. Okay. Happy days. Dive there we go, and it's deck. just telling us now that we're missing the uh, other planes and stuff. Let me just catch up with chat. Yes. I've seen an Admiral on this stream before. Hey, there you good to see you. So, uh, Captain is the Admiral. Nah, Admiral's, uh, Admiral's Lisa, I think. She is definitely my Commander Chief. Still missing a fighter. Was I still missing a fighter? Is it? Uh, why won't you launch? Ah, uh, there you go. Let's bring up a fighter plane. There you go. Now we've brought up the fighter plane. Three, four, five, six. Um, and then what you can do is you can just tell it to launch. Because there's a uh, queue available, it obviously brings up the planes and then launches them straight away. So one, two, and three. Stand by to start engine. There we go. Nice. Left turn, Clyde. They didn't have any good to see you, dude. <laughs> How are you, sir? Are you well? So we'll just leave that. We'll just leave that for a minute. We'll go to kind of there. Nice. Now, we know for a fact that this assures total annihilation to that fleet. So, see you later. So, what we can do, actually, because we're at 54%, if we really want to do that, is let's let's call in a resupply. Oh, that's terrible timing. 
that is such sucky timing. We have literally called in a resupply, so what we've done is we've used our order here, okay? Now, you remember me saying about the plus two? Here comes a nine. We have a two. <laughs> so we are in an absolute world of pain. Yeah, that's not, that's not good. I live in the US as much as I would like to drink right now. It's 1.30 in the afternoon. <sighs> Damn. Look at the lines coming across. There we go. Lines coming across. And supplies coming across to the boat. So the first thing I'm going to do to try and counteract a bit of that is to take someone off the uh, engineering department, I think. Uh, no, we definitely want these two on damage control. Let's take this dude here. Move him over to anti-air. That might give us a plus one. This is where I like to have the cruiser so you can make it whiff on the uh, escort group. Yes. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, that's a really, so there's a scout coming up that's spotting us and a plus nine at the moment, which kind of sucks. Oh, well. So, two things we can do here. We are still launching. What I'm going to do is go back to the deck. Okay. And... Well, it's still launching. Oh, there we go. Last plane's just gone. There we go. I was waiting for the plus symbol there. So, plus somebody is fighter plane. Issue fighter plane. Fighter plane. Fighter plane. Let's get these up and I'll show you why in a sec. The best we can. One. Issue a fighter squadron on the deck. Two. So the light cruiser's gone, the torpedo boat's gone, and that's gone. Actually, let's have a look now, because some of these are, uh, sh should be working. Oh, that's looking clean. I have avoided these, because these crashed. <sighs> Damn! Oh, he wore it like a glove. Nice. Okay, so we've got fighters coming in. So the first thing I'll do is I'm going to launch an aircraft at that. What that'll do is that'll counter the hostile scout. So the one that's going around with the uh, uh, the eye on it, basically. We're going to try and counteract that and take that down. Okay, so we're going to do that. Issue a fighter squadron on the deck. Start engine. There we go. And then what we're also going to do is launch a carrier cap. We can have two carrier caps. Uh, let's launch. Let's get ourselves underway. See, we've got 33 minutes here before we can do anything. But what we might be able to do, uh, if we go back to the island here and have a look at what we need for defense... So defensive position is two in the orange. So he is in the orange there, and he's in the orange there. So we can. As soon as that order is complete, we are going to head uh, and launch that. Did we launch the cap? I think we did. Carry a cap. Yeah, there we go. So that's going. So this. Should, so we're up to three now because we were on originally two. We've gone to three because our man has entered the aircraft carrier guns. So we are on three. This should take us to five. So our scouting is complete. Six, seven. I'm just going to see if we can counteract that nine the, the best we can. So you see we've got a retrieval here now, which means we can start to recover aircraft. We need to bear that in mind, because if you don't, you kind of scup it. Okay. Issue a fighter squadron on the deck. Invasion time is 39 minutes. That's the aircraft that's coming towards us at the moment. In fact, there we are. Mm. Uh, so I'm going to change this now into a defensive position. That takes us to seven. 
you absolute beauty. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to launch this cap here. Let's send that launch over. And then flip ourselves over to recovery mode. That should take us to nine. We've got two on damage control waiting. That scout's going. Nice. Yes, I think you're right, Rebel. Yeah. Stand by to start engine. Great minds. Um, we are on three cameras, so let's just pan that down. Let me get rid of the deck there so you guys can see it coming in. That camera is pretty slow. I take it you can kind of... Okay. Yeah, okay. The old pan and tilt on it is doing it. Come on, baby. I can't decide whether that's uh, airplanes coming in or dirt on me darn screen. <laughs> it's home. <laughs> Dang it. Um, actually, what I need to do is check the map also. You see how I've got the re retrieval here? Oh, am I out? I think I'm outside that retrieval area, actually. See here, I'm outside this retrieval area. So I need to be in this circle here. If I'm not in that circle, I can't retrieve the aircraft. Stand by to recover aircraft. So it's, it's uh, yeah. There we go. Aircraft coming back in. Beautiful. And obviously that's our airstrike as well. Our location is hidden from the enemy. Confirm. Nice. So we've taken out the scout. We're now at nine on defense again. In fact, here they come. Look, here comes the uh, the big wave of doom. So what we don't want now is to any of our of any of our aircraft to crash on deck. Otherwise, we are in the poop. He says. Where's that aircraft going? All right, let's go. Uh, let's fast forward time just a little bit. May as well. fact that'll do for me because I'm recovering those aircraft so let's turn this round make sure it's accepted that yes we are heading in the right direction beautiful again it's all about the retrieval now at this stage so we are retrieving that um, let's retrieve that and retrieve that tactical map you can now see we've got a spanner or repaired for the fighters we have one fighter group back our fighters clash with enemies some of them require urgent repairs nice uh, I don't even know why that paused then I was like Ooh. sir <laughs> a member of your staff requires urgent medical aid have a DC team transport him to the infirmary okay sir. A member of your staff requires urgent medical aid. Have a DC team transport him to the infirmary. Okay, so they're up here. So let's go to. Let's instantly get. Let's instantly get this dude up here. Okay, we also need now need to have a look at what we need in medic. So engineering department down here. I'm going to move one of these over to the medics department. He can just get a wiggle on because we have two people down here that require assistance. Okay, our defense has now dropped to four. So I think we kind of evaded that attack reasonably well. We have aircraft landing, which is good. Let's just slow it down just a touch. Let's have a look. Yep, so we've got him. Let's just grab him now. Nice. Look, they just—they just kind of pick him up, man. He's like, there he goes. Just carried him out the door. There, he's like, yep, done. On your command. I, I really think there should kind of be a delay on how long on it takes, way. and then moving back there to anti, uh, you know, kind of, yeah. Is this recovering or not? Who am I retrieving here? Let's have a look. Let's see who I'm recovering here. Stand by to recover aircraft. Nice. 
us. Recover away, baby. Recover Sir, away. One of the landing planes has crashed on no, deck. you, you donkey. You must use damage control to push it into the water. So aircraft crashes on the side there. What you have to do is go to your damage Waiting control orders. here. And then yes, left sir. click on the aircraft. And as you can see, they're running there. And what they do is they come up and they basically uh, lob it off the deck. the way it rolls. So we've got a free camera down here. Just kind of zooming in just a little bit. Then what you see is the damage control. Come and get funky and push it off. There they are. Here they come. Nice. And then lob. Splash baby. Once that's done though, by the way, don't forget to, to retrieve because it stops the recovery of um, of aircraft. Very important that you do that. Otherwise, you're going to be sailing into the distance, and your aircraft are just going to drop into the ocean behind you. Hey, doing TGF? Good to see you, dude. Is that carrier HMS Wussy? <laughs> Wrong circle. You are good. Thanks, Rebel. Yep. I definitely want all my aircraft back though. Alright, well, let's get them back for the time being. Bosh, bosh, bosh. Stand by Admiral, to recover we're taking water. You should send DC teams to pump it out. <sighs> let's have a look. Ah, uh, okay. Oh, that was fortunate. Damn. Right, let's send him down to there, which is fine. And the fact that we're taking on water, we actually always have people in the pump section, which is why I always have people in the pump section so we shouldn't have too much bother apart from this geezer here needs medic there he goes this boatman talk about unfortunate incidents Awaiting orders. right let's move them back over there the should be good let's get rid of those yeah and we're heading we're heading in the right direction so good and now we can get get going. Did a cheeky game of War Thunder. Finally unlocked the Stuka. Nice, dude. Well done, dude. Nice. Eighteen twenty as well. So we're kind of moving into, uh, I say, night operations at ten o'clock. You cannot launch aircraft. You can recover, I believe. You can't launch. Bear that in mind that if you are doing any strikes and stuff, you can see now also that we have uh, fighter squadrons waiting for repair. Is five fighter squadrons. So every time you launch fighters. They need to do go through a kind of general maintenance, shall we say, is the best way to describe it. Bear that in mind. We're waiting for one more aircraft to rec uh, rec re recover, and then we're good. Yep, we're flat back out. I can move my geezer back off and move him onto air over here. I have nobody in need of medic, so I'm going to move my medic back to my engineering department. bargain almost one for recovery and devs if you're watching a clear deck button would be amazing I think most of your fighters saw combat too yes I think they did I think we I think everybody uh, everybody did what they needed to do so there we go so everything is kind of ready there now so what we can do is um, oh you can right click damn hold down right mouse button to pan around your aircraft okay oh you can actually up and down as well Oh, that's a bit sexy. <gasps> Look at that, though. That's clean. It's clean. Right, so I'm going to go back to deck operations. Um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put... Move the fighter squadron back to the hangar. Items back now. One, two, three. And torpedoes, yeah. Let's move them back. One, two, three, four. Move the fighter squadron back to the hangar. So, another thing I want to check, actually, is on the island itself, here... Um, yeah, see how we've got repairing fighters. If you obviously want bombers as a priority, you repair the bombers as a priority. I just want to check that I was doing that correctly. And I am. We are 81% on supplies, so I'm more than happy with that at the moment. Let's get our wiggle on. 
Move the torpedo bomber squadron back to the hangar. Yes, please. Move the dive bomber squadron back to the hangar. Nice. So we're nearly where we can find and see what's going on. Okay. That tells us where we need to be. Nice. Let's change our deck over to launch. And what I want to do is... Do I want fighter planes? Yes. Issue a fighter squadron on the deck. Two fighter planes on the deck. Issue a fighter squadron on the deck. Purely and simply because... Yeah, so what I'm going to do is wait till morning. The objective has been completed, sir. Yes, it has. So, I'm going to start heading up to here. Because this is where they're going to attack. Okay? Without any shadow of a doubt, this is where they're going to be. Nice. And destroy the invasion fleet. After days. It's 2132. Chances of getting everything up and launching before 10 o'clock is probably slim to none, if I'm blatantly honest. So what we're going to do is just kind of leave it in free Admiral, mode. The section below deck has malfunctioned. Send DC teams now. Let's have a look. Uh, so we can just do that. And let's go and have a look, see where it is. So it's just there, just kind of left click on it and now repair it from that area there. Nice. There you go. And that's what these buttons are for. Same as well for pumps and stuff if you see an area is flooded. Because you've got someone on the pumps and in damage control, it basically means you haven't got to run around like a, 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 a blue bottle fly. Let's go with that one. <laughs> so you could use a cargo ship. Yes, I could. In fact, yeah, let's do that just for demonstration. I don't really need to. Okay. So you see how we've got six fighters here and stuff and eight and ten. What I can do is here. And then see so it says instantly repair two broken squadrons. If I left click that. There you go, it's done that, and then put one on there. And then what that does is that puts that on reset, okay? So that's how that works. The resupply ship is uh, used to choose a type of plane. So the supply ship itself, if you lose aircraft, you can left click on the supply ship. Not only does the supply ship down here resupply the boat, it will also give you a couple of squadrons of fighters as well. So two squadrons of this type of the carrier, 24 hour cooldown. Okay. So bear that in mind that if you're starting to lose planes and you need to resupply some planes, make sure you have a cheeky supply ship. There's nothing stopping you having a supply ship, a supply ship, supply ship. If you if you're losing a lot of planes, but it, you know that that's entirely up to you. How you play the game, like I said, what you do is up to you. As you can see in the bottom right hand corner now, there's kind of a moon symbol, which is night time. We just get a wiggle on at this stage. There's nothing we can do apart from the fact that we do have, there we go, fighters re repairing. So that's three and a half hours. How are you doing, Chris Krauss? Good to see you. Let's have a look. Uh, you have to right click the ship where he is in the bottom right to get the planes. Resupply doesn't give them back on its own. No, it doesn't. Yeah, so you have to. Yeah, yeah. Yes, so. Nice. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up here and then I'm going to show you my cheeky ability and the reason why I bought the submarine, okay? Obviously, how you play the game is entirely up to you. Nice. So what we want to be looking at here is the map. When I get to here, I want to hit the brakes. If I get to here before 5 o'clock in the morning, chances are I may. What's the sound stutter while in time compression? I'm not sure, dude. I am not sure. So as you can see, we're still moving. We're at 58%. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit play now. And I'm going to hit a cheeky resupply because we're at 57%. We it takes a few hours, it's 1.57 in the morning. Boats coming in, which will give us our resupply. I'm very mindful of this here. This is kind of like a storm, if you if you know. Uh yeah, it's a storm. I I normally use them to hide in because I'm a cheeky beaky like that. <laughs> Thurry Bob. 27 hours on the invasion time. I'm feeling slightly confident that we're that we're in a good place. Actually, I want to cover that off just a little bit more. So, 
almost resupplied. We can't launch anything until, I believe it's about 5 o'clock in the morning. There we go. 99% on the resupply as well, so we are good. I'm just going to get us out of here. Oh, by the Dyson game tomorrow. Thanks for me. Oh, the Dyson Sphere. Very good. I, I probably enjoyed that playthrough. Yes, sir. -y. I did. Is this storm going to be a stinker to me? That's the question. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Current order has expired. That's fine. So, a couple of things we're going to do here now. One is I'm going to hit the stop button, because I'm happy where I am. I'm going to hit an improved visibility, which should give us... There you go. That's give us improved visibility, plus... Okay we can launch uh, the submarine which is good for six hours look at the visibility that's just given us there we can see this thing for days how you doing matty good to see you sir hope you're well we can see this thing like an absolute boss so airstrike it's it won't let us launch an airstrike because it says can't deploy at night so what we're going to do now is fast forward time. Okay. And in fact, what we're going to do is seize the recon here. We're going to launch a recon mission so we can see exactly what's going on. And we'll do that in one second. As soon as it gets 5 o'clock, you'll see it change over. There we go. Now that's changed over. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to launch that recon there. I don't need to. Yeah, let's launch that, confirm. And all we're going to do is have a look on deck. And we should just be able to launch that. Launch because we've got the two fighters there. So we've got our increased visibility from our order down the bottom. We've got our submarine providing us with extra range. We've spotted it. We're now going to send a scout over it. And now we want to kill it. So cheeky airstrike. I don't want to airstrike that bejesus. Has this had a major update? Uh, Matty, it has. It's had a lot of major updates, and it's been released today to the public, sir. It has. So, nice. Um, so, here we go. So, we want we, we need to destroy this. Um, one to four, one to four, one to four, one to four, one to four. Um, so, 11. Look at this bad boy. Uh, attack and defense of maneuver five plus 150%. So, we want that on there. Uh, dive bomber. Let's have a look see what we've got on a dive bomber. Dive bomber, there you go, 7. That should take that to 18. Because of this, this strategy ensures total annihilation of the fleet. This is before we've even done anything. Those two things there wipe out this and complete this mission. We need two torpedo bombers, one dive bomber. Done. So, Longbow, thank you, sir. You absolute legend. And it's all because, you see here, underneath each card, you have... A little bit of what it does. Attack and defensive maneuver. 5 plus 150%. Okay, so if I move this down here. 7. And move it up there. Because this is slot 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Plus 150% on slot 5. Sometimes underneath each of the boats you will have modifiers. Like ignore slot 5, etc. Okay, but you have to understand that. And then kind of find a way to kill that fleet. So what we're going to do is we are going to confirm that. And then bring these back here. And confirm the airstrike. You can see the airstrike is now over here. Okay, so we can close. We can go to here. And it says there that obviously not enough planes on deck. We need our two torpedo bombers and our one dive bomber. So let's fast forward time just a little bit so those boys get off. There we go. So we, we want now torpedo bomber, torpedo bomber, dive bomber. A month ago you couldn't finish the missions. Yep. Matt, is there a ton of bugs fixed in the last couple of weeks? Yes, it has. I have to agree. As as much as I bugbear, and I, and I generally do bugbear in the fact that I haven't seen a patch note, drives me insane. I haven't seen a version number, drives me insane. What we've reported has been fixed. So it depends. You know, from from my perspective, I want patch notes because I can then test items and make sure that they've been fixed and those kind of good things. 
uh, or what's been disabled. For instance, the 360 camera was disabled. I like to, to know these things so I can then kind of modify the areas I want to test. You know, there's, there's no point in saying we've been working on Torpedo Bomber 2, um, so can we test it? And then I, I, I do dive bombers because I don't know any different. It just doesn't make any sense. So there we go. The scout that we sent over has now found them. So bargain. And we can now launch this strike force to go and attack. Uh, it's not released on Steam. Have a look for Prologue, Criss Cross. It's, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's the Prologue. So Aircraft Carrier Survival Prologue. The game itself isn't released. The Prologue version, which is what I'm playing now, I believe has been released to the general public. For also testing and that kind of good stuff. Just there. So this should be good. This should wipe out this attack fleet here. We should complete the mission. Everybody's happy. Bosh. See you later. Job done. So let's fast forward time. As you can see now, we've started to repair our dive bombers. Or, or torpedo bombers, sorry. Six currently available on the ship. And uh, it's waiting to repair two. Nice. Three hours and two hours. So all I'm going to do now is I'm not going to launch anything else. So we're just going to change the airship over to recovery. Fast forward time. Because let's face it. Nobody wants to sit here and, and wait. An objective has been completed, sir. Yeah, it's there. That's cool. Uh, good. Thanks for confirming, dude. Matt, m what major updates has there been? Um, it's 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 basically fixes, dude. So when when I say major updates, the prologue has always been the prologue. It's just been bugs. So 360 camera has been fixed. Uh, folding wings, torpedoes. The lift bug was an absolute game killer. Fixed. Um, various upcraft landings fixed. Da damage control teams, pumps. The way pumps work. The way fires work. The way aircraft crash land now. We never used to have when we first started playing this six weeks ago. There has been so many little tweaks and adjustments behind the scenes, dude. Very nice. But it didn't crash when he finished the mission, so that's one example. Woohoo! <laughs> this is this game. Right, this game. So we can now upgrade. Uh, Colin, how you doing, sir? Good to see you. Thank you for clicking that subscribe button. I'm not sure whether you know I'm live or not. I, I generally don't know, but thank you, thank you, thank you. Let's go for... Uh... Do we want an additional 50? Is that 50 meters or 50 miles? That's got to be miles, hasn't it? <laughs> You'd be gutted if that was meters. So, I don't. do we need any more crew? I don't think we need any more crew. We can upgrade the aircraft. We've got one purchase point. We've got one upgrade point, you see. We can upgrade the carrier. Do we want to do that? We can get another escort ship. I'm happy with what we have. So it's now all about the um, aircraft carrier. And what I'm going to do, tell you what I'm going to do, is I'm going to upgrade the dive bombers. We're doing it. Oh, yeah. The reason why I've upgraded the dive bombers, I would get fighters. Ah, you suck, dude. Nah. The reason why I've got fighters. How do I play this game? Uh, it's so hard when you first start. Watch about the first... Well, I'll just go back to the start of the stream, dude. I've just explained everything. Um, so the reason why I've taken the dive bombers is because obviously it's now Solomon Island. My arch nemesis. Landing of Solomon Island. This one's coming soon. On hard. Sir, the task force yes. is now in position, ready to storm the Solomon Islands. 
A transport ship carrying soldiers is headed to the deployment point, located over here, with an ETA within 48 hours. Our strike group has been tasked in destroying the enemy base along the shore. Clearing the coast before the platoon arrives would give them the upper hand. Transport is en route now. Allied ships are providing an escort along the course, but their numbers are low. It is highly advised we provide them with air support to deter any oncoming attacks. The platoon's safety is the highest priority. A couple of our aircraft squadrons have already made contact with the enemy in this area. They are headed to your carrier's location for retrieval right now. Reviewing their report should prove useful. Awaiting your command, sir. It's that paragraph there that you miss. You see the retrieval here? It's that paragraph there. The first thing you do is go to recovery and go to retrieve. Stand by to recover Before aircraft. you do anything on this one, recover those aircraft. Because <laughs> I keep forgetting that bit. Okay. Nice little tip there. Get that, get that squared away. There we go. We've got aircraft coming in. And it also increases our stuff here. I'm off to work. I'll see you a bit later. Uh, around 20, 25 minutes. G. Have a safe journey to work, dude. Appreciate you as always. Love you, my brother. Have a good one. Uh, yes, Benito. I think you're Bob on there, dude. Uh, I'm waiting for Carrier Command 2. Just saying. Uh, for a moment, I thought the aircraft carrier surgeon simulator. <laughs> I do, Felix. Good to see you, dude. Uh, right, let's have a look. Everybody is still in position where we've left them. You absolute beauty. We are good. We've still got two airstrikes, a recon. We just need to go to the map. Get ourselves a left click. Get ourselves on our way over to here. Okay. Let's get ourselves mobile. Heck yeah. Uh, what are we recovering? Two... Two fighters, two... Two dive bombers. Okay. I'm happy with that. So we've been spotted. We've been scouted. That needs to go. Allied fleet arrives. Task force... Yes. Yes. Um, Benito, you're talking... Basically, mate. Microprose. That's all I'm saying. That's, that's the only word you need when it comes to... Uh, yeah, you know what I'm saying. Everybody knows what I'm saying on that one. Just although, you see, my only concern is—is is it um, is it a company that's just using the Micropose name and brand as it was for years ago, or is it? You know, that's my only concern. I want to drop this damn scope. Makes me nervous. Uh, yeah, so we've recovered everything, so I'm just going to change everything back to uh, back to takeoff now. Let's push it all back, because I know I've already got two fighters on. I've, I know I've got two fighters here already that are good to go. So I can just launch at this now and go and take care of that scout. Launch aircraft. There we go. That just gets those bad boys away. See you later, suckers. Nice. Carry speed. Of course, we're going for whack. We've got somebody going to deal with that scout there. Let's have a look. I don't see anything here, but what we could do is, in fact, yeah, because if, if, let's, what do we have here? Do I want to do that? Yeah, let's be cheeky. Let's, uh, let's increase our visibility. Oh, submarine troop ship light carrier. Look at that. That is right in our way too. Damn. Okay. Let's launch an airstrike, I think. Can we? Look at that. So what do we have on the deck here, though? Oh, is that two fighters? Oh no, two... Two... Dive bombers. Can I get an airstrike on that, though? I can. So we've got two dive bombers. So let's have a look, see if we've got two dive bombers so we can utilize that. Dive bomber attack. Of this maneuver, plus six if maneuver three is supportive. So one dive bomber there. Let's have a look. Could we have a dive bomber uh, attack of maneuvers one, two, and one and two plus eight? Yeah, let's do that. So Bosch, look at that. There's our two dive bombers. Can we get a couple of cheeky torpedoes in? Attack of maneuver one plus two eight. 
two enemy units will be destroyed. So two, two, and two. Let's go for a attack of maneuvers one and five, one hundred percent. Attack of maneuvers three and five is disabled. That sucks. Three and five is disabled. Um, defense of all... No, so we want that. Attack of maneuvers one. There you go. And five. This strategy ensures total annihilation. Beautiful. So two, two, two. And that wipes that out. Nice. Let's confirm that for a pickup here. Confirm. And then let's go back to the deck and let's have a look to see what we need here. We have, we need two torpedo bombs. You see how that's, uh, one's two are red and one is white basically. So we need two torpedo bombers, one fighter. So two torpedo bombers. One fighter plane. There is no pause button, I guess. Yeah, Terence, yeah. Um, I'm sure I just saw a pause button, if I'm honest. I'm sure I did. How did I do that? Press escape, dude. <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> Woo <-hoo. laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> this guy just got easy, dude. Bomber squadron on yeah, the but a big, big shout out to Longbow for um, showing me this kind of method, if that makes sense. Thank you, brother. Appreciate it. And, uh, yeah. For all those that don't know, we have been testing, uh, as you guys know, the Prologue uh, version for quite a while now. We were fortunate enough to be given kind of early access keys, um, which we requested. It's not because we were streaming the, the game or anything like that. We requested to test the game. And I think we've done a reasonable job in reporting what we found. You know, there are other anomalies and stuff, but that's just the way it goes. Um, as soon as that one's up, hell yeah. There we go. We can now throw the launch button on that. See you later. Thanks for popping in. See you. There you go. Nice. Start engines. So these guys are nearly coming back here in a minute, so we need to be mindful of that retrieval area, shall we say. There we go. That enemy scout is now gone. See you later, sucker. We are on our way. Oh, we just about got that in as well. Look, 1900. Nice. Let's switch this round now to recovery because we can retrieve those two fighters. Stand by to recover our craft. And the reason why we want to retrieve them is because we want to start repairing them. It's basically the be all and end all of that. We just want to start repairing them, okay? One, two. And come on, baby. One, two. Oh, those are actually okay. Nice. I am going to put them back, though. Yeah, let's put them back. I think that's probably a smart thing to do. Oh, look at this. Damn, he's heading right towards the submarines. Look, troop ship and light carrier. Oof, straight out of so that's turned as well. So we lost the torpedo bomber. Dive bomber, but we absolutely did that. Let's, let's have a look. Oh, hello, carrier. Hello, baby girl. Oh, damn. Torpedoes in the water. Boom. Oh. Yeah, there's our fighters. Oh, uh, we lost a couple. That's all good, though. We have been detected by the enemy. <laughs> oh, I'd say so. <laughs> a couple of waves of fighters and bombers will do that to them. Is this first person like you, boat? Matty, no. No, sir. Nope. Move the fighter squadron back to the nope. hangar. I get where the reference is to you, boat. Do you know, you boat's coming out in uh, VR as well. What the fudge? VR? Nice.
Uh, so that's still on going for one seven. Let's just make sure that we are within range of that. We are. So look, basically look for the big circle. We are well within range of that as well. So I'm more than happy. We can just basically throttle it down. We are good. Everything is good. In theory, in theory, we shouldn't really be be attacked because, sir. A member of your staff requires urgent medical aid. Have a DC team transport him to the infirmary. Let's have a look. On your uh, I always go for DC2. I always start by going right. It doesn't mean to say that it's going to be the one that I'm going to use. In fact, no, I'm going to use Awaiting this order. DC team Aye. here. I, I try and use the closest. VR. Whoa, going to be cool. Yeah. If they want to give me a free copy, mate, I've got VR. Just saying. I, won't, I certainly won't be buying another copy of it, put it that way. Um, I think that's just daft of me. Although I could, you know, there's nothing stopping me affording it, but why? <laughs> to be fair, when it comes to U-Boat, I think I made them Ready. plenty of sales. Yes, sir. Putting it mildly. <laughs> if they want to lob me a free copy and, and I can demonstrate VR, mm, yeah, i got no problems in doing that. We shall see. Right, I think we're good. So the reason why I updated my bombers, by the way, was because obviously we need to go and bomb over here. These two are uh, islands or kind of strategic positions that we need to bomb. So it makes sense for me to want to go over there and bomb the bejesus out of it. All right, I'm going to send a decoy escort carrier out while we can. So, used to send the carrier away as a decoy and change detection status to undetected for two hours. Can only be used when there are no incoming attacks. 24 hour cooldown. Escort defense plus two and defense plus one. So, I'm just sending that away just so people leave me alone. Hopefully, that's kind of why. And touch wood, he says. Really? I was trying to mention their server Discord. Matty, they are fully aware of who I am, dude. Absolutely fully aware of who I am in you boat here. <laughs> I think they know who I am. But yeah, feel, feel free to. Uh, same as Playway as well. Playway know me from that game. Uh, and occasionally email me for some uh, keys and stuff. But It's one of those where Playway will send you... Uh, Playway send me links to games that it's... You know, this is... We've accepted this and stuff, but it's, you know, how long is that going to take? So we have a submarine in the water. Let's go straight back to the deck, obviously, uh, launch time. See, this is where the issue starts. It's 2310, which is a bit of a stinker. So to, to, get, to get rid of those is uh, two dive bombers, which is what I've just called up. But, but, because of the time, I can't launch aircraft, I don't think. Unless I can launch, yeah, can't be deployed at night. So if I take damage from this now, that's really going to suck. Because there's nothing I can do to dodge this. I mean, the fact that he's on the surface, damn. Let's have a look. Let's see if we can uh, see if we can slow time down at that. Let's have a look. So if we can just click the submarine in the bottom corner. Holy moly, this boy's, uh, yeah, this boy's getting his wiggle on, isn't he? Nice. Right, let's go back. There's nothing we can do about it until we, we kind of thrash time. Heck, is that a destroyer escort? Yeah. So we have, uh, with us, if I go back to kind of, uh, four camera, if I go back to three camera, and, uh, yeah, so there's a couple of submarines up there. Whoops. Supply ships there, dodgy aircraft carrier, and uh, repair ships. Allied fleet arrives in 29 hours. Can't do anything at the moment because of this. This is a uh, yeah. This is going to be very problematic for us, I think. Yeah. Mm. 
yeah, that's going to be problematic. Here comes a big storm as well. I am going to come. Actually, I'm going to come down here to there. Let's do that. Four submarines. Yeah. I don't know why. I don't know where they all come from, to be honest. How are we looking on resupply? 42%. Yeah, okay. Very mindful that I really want to get this attack out of the way. Otherwise, we're going about to get stuffed. Very well played by the aircraft. Very well played by the submarine, if that's, if that's time the attack. For that. But we can't launch until 5 o'clock. Which means we're in trouble. Yeah, we're flat out. 26 hours. Allied fleet arrives in 26 hours. Holy moly, that is... Um, yeah, we really need to get a wriggle on. It does say it's hard, though. It does say it's hard. The carrier's under attack, so there we go. So we've got six coming in as well. Again, we can't do a darn thing until after. This is where it gets kind of a bit of a stinker. Oh, look at that. Finishes in two seconds, look. Oh, come on, man. There is a fire below deck. Sir, damage control is needed. That's unfortunate. That's really sucky, actually. <laughs> we couldn't do it. We couldn't, we couldn't defend against it because... Ah, oh, that sucks. Okay, so let's have a look. Um, no, so damage control team, we're gonna we're gonna have to send to put the fire out. Nothing we can do about that. They have to send to put the fire out. That's fine. Awaiting uh, orders. No, I'm gonna leave that. No, I am. I'm gonna leave them there. Let's leave them there. They're gonna do that. Uh, what do I want to do here? Now that submarine's finished. Oh, that's nice. Thanks. Right, one. There is a fire below deck. To the hangar. Let's Sir, clear this. Damage control is needed. I need someone to uh, engineer, it, engineer it over to anti-air, please. We've got ten coming in as well. Holy crap, that's not fun. Yeah, that's really sucky because we couldn't defend against that. We couldn't launch and we couldn't defend. I mean, you can say well played by the aircraft carrier. You really can. But that's, that's kind of screwed us over, yeah. Six and a four. Mm. Uh, I want a fighter plane. I want a fighter plane. Nope. Move the dive bomber squadron back to the hangar. Nice. While that's doing that, let's just go and check on what damage we have underneath here. Ready. Aye, aye. There we go. And a scout as well. Yeesh. Issue a fighter squadron on the deck. Yeah, this isn't fun, is it? Issue a fighter squadron on the deck. Uh, okay. So I'm gonna Stand take out the scout position. first. The scout, the scout needs to go. That's what's spotting us. The others are just, uh, I say, it's just an attack. It's just an attack. That's fine. I'm also gonna bring up another two. We're, we're going to take we're going to take a hit, but the six is coming in first. So nice. Let's launch a carrier cap. Let's get that away. Then what we're going to do is we're going to go to defense. So there's five. We can get this away. That should be seven, which means we should be able to defend the six. Come on, come on, come on. Go seven, please. Beautiful. Just as that's coming in, I would say. Oh, there it is. Oh. Holy crap, that's huge. Ooh. Ooh. Whoops-a-daisy, he says. 
So we've got that, we've got that, we've got that. That's fine. We need a uh, an airstrike on this. Oh, crap. Attack of maneuver three and five disabled, so we need two. Attack of maneuver one and five, so that's five, that's not doing us any good. Attack and defense of next and previous maneuver plus 75. Nice, that's two fighters. Um, defense of all previous maneuvers plus 50. Attack of maneuver one and five. This analysis of country strategy suggests that one enemy unit will be destroyed, boosting the offense further. Which we can't. Uh, I mean, it kills the light carrier in theory, which then gets rid of that. Maneuver, uh, maneuvers using dive bombers are blocked. Yeah, I think we do. I think we do that. I think we just take out the carrier. Two fighters, three fighters actually. Damn. Confirm. Yeah, let's get that away. I think we definitely need to get this away. Uh, not enough planes on that. Is that three to? Uh, is that three torpedo bombers? It is. Damn. Issue a torpedo bomber squadron on the deck. Sir, a member bombs. of your staff requires urgent medical aid. Have a DC team transport him to the infirmary. Right, in theory, that should be good. We need to get this up. We've got one hour fifty-five to retrieval of this as well. That this is not. This is not looking good. Uh, actually, that's not too bad. That's within range. Sorry if I'm not reading chat, boys. Uh, get the VT shells ready. Uh, yep. You had many crashes on the flight deck or any flooding. Man, yes. Absolutely, yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, you normally get one or two. Incoming air, incoming attack now, which we can see. Oh, I'll tell you what I do want to do, though, is as soon as this damage control is ready, hopefully they are... Now, yeah, let's get these boys on the way back to damage control. Here we go. This was only a four, so we should be able to combat this with the four that we already have. Because inside here, this will be recharging, you see. Issue a torpedo bomber squadron on the deck. Admiral, we're taking water. You should send DC teams to pump it out. Issue a fighter squadron on the deck. Let's have a look. Uh, do we have any severe flooding or is it controlled? I think it should be controlled. Yes, it's already controlled because we've put we've got people already on the pumps, which is why you don't see it. If you don't have people on the pumps, you will see flooding. Um, so yeah, we've already counteracted that one. I'll take it. Is that in, is that more incoming aircraft? I see. It is. God dang it. Issue a fighter squadron on the deck. Sir, a member of your staff requires urgent medical aid. Have a DC team transport him to the infirmary. Issue a fighter squadron on the deck. There we go. Launch. Nice. Um, I did spot a bug there though. What? It's the same bloody person. Lazy dog. What is it with that room? Stay away from that room, people. Good, dang it. I did spot a bug there. The fact that it wouldn't do anything until after that was going. So what we uh, supply twenty three? Thank you, brother. Sir, a member of your staff requires Start urgent engines. medical aid. Have a DC team transport him to the infirmary. This is a toughie, man. Holy crap. Yeah, he, uh, you boys are moving, aren't you? Yep. Uh, 
Uh, we can't change it. We can't order a resupply until this is done, basically. Um, what we can do, though, is switch the switch ourselves around to recovery. So we are launching aircraft. Ready. These guys are done. Let's just check that we All don't right. have any more damage control items. We don't. This is kind of that defense force. I think we might have got away with that. Mm. Yeah. I'm going to bring in the uh, instantly repairs, I think. There we go. Just because I want some boats and stuff. Uh, good to go. Let's get those away. One, two, and three. <sighs> Look at this. We haven't got long to the f for these to recover. We've got 17 minutes. So they need to get this aircraft off the boat now. Retrieve. Oh, we made it. What the... Damn! There we go. We just about got these boys back. That's beautiful. And the carrier cap has come back as well. <sighs> that sucks. So we're going to be down quite a few fighters here. We are at four, which is not bad. Um, yeah, so they've lost the light carrier. We lost quite a bit. Yeah, they lost the light carrier. That's not the light carrier, but I'll take it. Oh, that was a miss, you tart. Oh, damn. So we d we can actually, actually have another cheeky airstrike. How are we looking? 20 hours. Yeah, so we can actually have another cheeky airstrike. This is locked. Um, so... Do we want to? No, let's not, actually. The reason why is because we're recovering already. And I, I think I would rather recover. Um, we've got a defense of five there, so I'm very mindful of that. We've got six fighters left. Yeah, so I want to retrieve aircraft first. Yeah, I want to recover what we have. Stand by to recover aircraft. Sir, one of the landing planes has crashed on deck. There you, you go. Use damage control to push it into the water. So don't forget, the minute that happens, what you do is you get your damage control. Click on, on your damage command. control. Yes, click on sir. the exclamation mark. Those boys will start to move. Bear in mind that when that happens, all landing aircraft will no longer be landing. Make sure you recover your aircraft. Because trust me, it's a stinker. Let's go for free view, and what will happen is, uh, in fact, there we go. My order is complete. I need to, I need a resupply mission sooner rather than later. So I'm just going to pull that in now. We're going to take damage off this up here, but uh, well, there's not a lot we can do about that. Uh, what are these guys? Oh, so this is ongoing. What are these? I think these may be fighters actually. So we might we be able to. We might be able to swap this around. I think these are fighters. Are these fighters? They are fighters. Bargain launch carrier launch cap. Aircraft. That'll take us up to uh, four. Uh, okay, so we're gonna yeah we're gonna take a hit. That's fine. But four is better than nothing. Yeah, beautiful. That gets that away, and then what we'll do is we'll flip the aircraft around. And then we'll start to retrieve our main assault, shall we say? Let's have a look to see where we are. Um, yeah, we're definitely going to need to just get a bit close to this island. We've got 18 hours until the fleet arrives. That's not long, damn. Stand by. Yeah, that's really not long. What time is it? It's 11.26 as well. That's sucky, actually. We are, uh, yeah, we're in a world of pain here. Yeah, we are. Mm. 
Right, let's get to it. As soon as that's pulling away, then we are away. Um, because we need... I don't want to do this. Th actually, 37 minutes in the mop world is will improve the visibility. So these, these guys are coming back now. That's fine. We're about to take a hit. Not a lot we can do about that. Also, meh. So this is where it's getting a bit of a stinker. I really need to be somewhere here so I can see the visibility. Okay. Current order has expired. Perfect. There is a fire below deck. Whoa, 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 whoa. Damage control is needed. So we've got three damage controls. Let's have a look, see what's going on here. Okay, where is yeah, damage control team two? Is here. We will get those down to sort out the fire. So one, two. And what we've got over here. So nothing over here. It's basically just those three. Where's the three then? Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I want improved visibility, which should give me, yes, there we go, bargain. That gives me the ability to attack here. So are we still recovering aircraft? I don't think we are. Retrieval of there is two a fire below deck. Yeah, let's get the... Damage control is needed. Let's get the two fighters back in first. These boys are... Fire is out. Perfect. Let's go and take care of that. Oh, ammo supply. Yeah, it's probably quite important to have that up and running, I think. And where's the other one, then? Am I missing a section? Am I not seeing this? Oh! Let's. I didn't see that. Oh crap! Sir, one of the landing planes has crashed on deck. No, we are. No, we don't have water. a damage control. You suck. Where's my individual? So I'm going to ignore this just for a minute because I want to go and help the uh, individual. I know I can't recover the aircraft at the moment, but there's not a lot we can do about that. There we go. So these boys are okay. Actually, I can now send these boys up here to sort that out. That really does uh, suck. Good. Uh, right, let's send these boys back to pumps. Oh, that's a bit of a stinker, to be fair. Uh, 16 hours. Mm. Come on, boys, get it off. Come on, come on, come on. Here they come. Uh, as I said, oh, okay, so where is our retrieval? It's gone, that's fine. I'm alright with that. Oh, I got bloody scout over us. Well, it is as it is. I need to take these out. So I'm going to prepare an airstrike. And I want to do an airstrike onto that. And I definitely want dive bombers. So attack of maneuver uh, six. If maneuver three. Attack of maneuver. If, okay, so if maneuver three is supportive. So let's go to maneuver three. Again, dive bomber, defense, defense. Attack of maneuver. There you go. So those two complement each other massively. Two or three units will be destroyed. So one, two. So we could do another one. A fighter. Attack of maneuver one and five, one hundred percent. Yep, so let's have a look at that. So thirty-two. The analysis suggests that three to four enemies will be destroyed. And if we add one more dive bomber onto that. Total annihilation. There we go. So that's it. So we want one, two, three dive bombers and one fighter. That is our target there. And then we're going to pick up from there. Confirm. Let's go back to airstrike. And 
Yeah, three. Really? What are you? Uh, fire planes. Bargain, as far as I'm concerned. We'll use those now. Let's whip those around to launching. Clear the flight deck and clear the flight deck. Sweet. One, two, three. There we go. And uh, was it dive bombers? One, two, three dive bombers. Yes, yeah, so there's our three dive bombers, followed by the launch attack, and that should be good to go. One. Issue a dive bomber squadron on the deck. Two. Issue a dive bomber squadron on the deck. And three. Launch. So we'll get that way. Can Start you free roam, Matt, or is it only mission? So it's mission based at the moment, moment dude, that I can see. So I'm going to start to turn up here just a little bit because I want I want this area here. So I'm going to turn up here, I think, and then kind of come down here. So we we are, we have a annihilation of that. Okay. So bosh 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 bosh. Happy days. So good to go. We also now need to attack this. We do have an airstrike available here as well. So we're going to prepare that airstrike for there. Uh, followed by, here we go, so we need to figure this out. Dive bomber, attack of this maneuver, attack of this maneuver plus six if maneuver three is supportive. So one of those, maneuver three needs to be supportive. Attack of maneuver one and two plus eight. So let's put that there. So we now need another defense of all offense. Attack maneuver one and five. 100% attack and defensive next. So I really want a dive bomber on one. And I really want a high scoring dive bomber. There you go. In that sense, this is just three to four enemy will be destroyed. So one, two, three, dive. Ah, okay, so that's a double fighter there. I don't want that. Have we got any more dive bombers? There's a dive bomber. Seven points there. And then we have a look at some fighters, perhaps. Attack of maneuvers 1 and 5, 100%. So if we do that, and that, there we go. That's what we want. So it's just kind of working out all the good stuff there. So 1, 2, 3 dive bombers and a fighter. Confirm that, followed by a return to there. Confirm that. Let's go back to the aircraft carrier. We want a fighter plane, and then we want a dive bomber. Dive bomber. Dive bomber. Nice. I'm going to start to slow this thing down just because I'm a lazy dog at this stage. Issue a dive bomber squadron on the deck. Nice. That's one down. Good job. What the? I'm there. Oh. Oh. Oh, I thought it crashed. I thought it crashed then. Two. And launch. Nice. One of those, one of those. Stand by, start engine. Stand by, start. Is that a submarine as well, really? You suck, game. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, so we should just be able to click. Uh, in fact, where is damage control 2? Is damage control 2 in the damage control room? No, you guys are terrible. So we're going to put them there, and then we'll, t we'll just get them to do that. So what do we have? We have two fighters left and two and some dive bombers. Okay. So we've still got a little bit to get rid of. In 13 hours, the Allied fleet arrives. The sucky thing about that is, is we're gonna, not going to have many aircraft available to us, I don't think. Admiral, a section below deck has malfunctioned. Send DC teams now. Deck. Two dive bombers. And... 
two fighter planes. Go. So one. Issue a dive bomber squadron on the deck. Two. And then what we'll do is we'll launch for that. Issue See you later. An objective has been completed, sir. Nice. We'll just hit confirm on that. That's fine. One. Issue a fighter squadron on the deck. Admiral. The section below deck has malfunctioned. And two. Send DC teams now. Sweet. Now, let's have a look. We should be able to just go there. Let's find where's malfunctioning. There. Right, let's fix that off. Happy days. Is there two of those or one of those? Two of those. Me. We are launching aircraft. Um, and once these are away, we will start recovery process. I trusted to launch the other ones at the back first. That's just horrendous. <laughs> God dang it. And then they push them all the way back because they're good boys. Have you guys not launching that? What are you guys doing? Nothing. Um, launch. I did not pick that up. I thought I'd launch that. Okay, so that should deal with that. Let's whip over to recovery. Because we're going to need to start recovering at this stage. Um, yes, I want to recover my planes now. Hopefully, none of these crash because we've got six dive bombers coming back in at this stage. And I want them all. If I can. Let's go see what we've got this damage control down here. Um, Hopefully they're finished repairing the one and we can kind of just go to that one. Yes, we can. Beautiful. Right, so that's that done now. Now I'm going to switch a great turn to the left. Beautiful. The rest are on caps, so we do have stuff returning, so we don't mind that. Providing they don't crash, we should be good, he says. Nice. Stand by to recover aircraft. Right, so we've got one lot back. Beautiful. How are we looking on supplies? 66%. See, my only concern is it's in 10 hours, and in 10 hours we're not going to see anything. So let's go for improved visibility now. Let's go for our submarine now. I don't see a I don't see a whisper. I don't see anything around here at all. Which kinda of sucks. Yeah, so I'm not I'm not seeing anything here. Right, so let's have a look at what we need to go here. Um, we can retrieve these and we can retrieve these. Let's do that, let's get our ships on board and let's do what we need to do. How you doing G? Good to see you dude. Yeah, if they're back we're good, I think. And then we'll just launch uh, recons. What is that there, you see? That makes me nervous. What time is it? 8 o'clock. Uh, recon. Ooh, I was going to see if I can get a cheeky recon up, but... Mm. Stand by to recover aircraft. What time is it? There we go. What if we switch the deck over to launching? We spot the deck. Prepare for launching. And can we get something away quickly? Right, let's uh, let's have a quick check there. Let's see if we can do a cheeky recon. Uh, recon. Not enough planes on the deck. Need two fighters. What do we have on deck then? One fighter. You suck. So, can't. No. Thank you. Can we get rid of. Really? There we go. So, can we get rid of Move you? The dive back to the See, I'm very mindful that the time we have is kind of 2200 hours. This goes. Um. It becomes night time and we can't do nothing. Fighter plane. Issue a fighter squadron on the deck. 
So that fighter plane should mean that we can get a recon out. And I want a recon out here. And it can come back to me here. Confirm. Followed by launch. Stand by to start engine. Yeah, this is where it's going to have to move everything. This is where it's going to suck. There you go. Look at this. And it is... There is a fire below deck. Sir, damage control is needed. On your command, yes, sir. Go, go. Damage control. So at least these boys are out for five hours. That should give us a cheeky recon of what's going on. Allied fleet arrives. See, this is what sucks. Allied fleet arrives in seven hours. And it's... Again, we're being caught by the old, we can't do anything until 5 o'clock. Can we launch night missions, actually? Uh, is it an option? In the... Uh, recon, recon, recon. Can deploy squadrons and launch missile and missions while in bad weather zone? No. No. So we're, we're now scuppered. That sucks. That really is terrible. Okay. There's not a lot we can do about that. Again, we're at the bloody mercy of. So that's a neutral ship. That's a bit of a bonus, actually. We'll take that. I am going to stop here. And I'm going to order a resupply here. And did we sort out the fire? Where did this geezer come from? Awaiting orders. Aye, aye. Where did he come from? What the hell? <laughs> what the? It's just lying there. How are we looking on crew then? Ah, oh, there we go. He's okay. I mean, he's not too bad. Definitely don't need anybody on AA, so we'll get him down to engineering. And he is now back up. Yes, aye, aye. What are we, Mr. Kino? Save yourself. Right, here we go. Oh, bad weather zone as well. Scupper, don't we? Our location is hidden from the enemy. Bargain. Right, FK, one sec, boys. In fact, I'm going to leave it running just to uh, fast forward. So if we burn down, we burn down. One sec. Burning down. I'm out of drink. I know this isn't first person, but can you just imagine walking through the whole carrier ship? Yeah, that'd be awesome. Have sank uh, multiple carrier? No. Oh, actually, I'll tell you what I'm going to do is um, let's send that carrier right. Let's get him gone, eh? Nice. Yep, we know we've got no destination. We know that already. Uh, Allied fleet arrives in two hours, 30 minutes. Yeah, so they bloody arrive right on time. That sucks.
Cheers, guys. Oh, yeah. Uh, in fact, I'm going to have uh, instantly repair. I'm going to bring in that as well. I just want to instantly repair my two ships. I think that's what, that's kind of what I'm going to do. Um, and I'm going to bring in my supply ship too. And I am going to bring in... Torpedo Bombers. There we go. That's a nice cheeky injection for us there. Your strike group is idling in place. Yes, it is. It's exactly where I want it to be. Uh, what do we have on deck here? Um, I suppose... Dive bomber, dive bomber, dive bomber, dive bomber. Okay, so that's a bit much. That's that's a bit heavy. So let's go for. One of those. One of those. I would rather have the fighters, to be fair. Yeah, let's do that. Let's get them on the way. Hey, thank you so much, G, for those one bits, brother. More importantly, keeping it round. Donating the pad. Thank you, dude. Oh, is that cable arrived, G, by the way? Move the dive bomber squadron back to the hangar. Move the dive bomber squadron back to the hangar. Nice. Move the dive bomber squadron back to the hangar. So, Allied Fleet arrives soon. Um, let's have a look at... In fact, I tell you what we want to do is... Scouting. Fighter plane. Fighter plane. Issue a fighter squadron on the deck. Issue a fighter squadron on the deck. Nice. Because what I want to do is I'm going to launch that scout. Let's just get that scout away. Hopefully it increases our visibility. We are 81%. Hell yeah. I know it's idling in place. I wanted to idle in place, thank you very much. Thank you, G. So the Allied fleet arrives in 25 minutes. Right, I'm going to do visibility now. Oh, look at that. Holy crap on a cracker. There's nothing with anywhere, anywhere near these boys at the moment. Like it. And then when that runs out, we're going to use the submarine as well. In fact, what I am going to do is I'm going to bring up a cheeky dive bomber. I'm going to bring up a torpedo plane. Because in theory... I'm going to be using those. So I'm going to start bringing those up already because this arrives in 16 minutes. We want these planes kind of up and ready, if that makes sense. Nice. Tactical map has been updated. Here we go. Oh, there you go. That's my boy right there. So, airstrike, prepare, airstrike, go. Here we go. What do we have to battleship, battleship, Christ, battleship, battleship. All defense maneuvers are blocked. All defense maneuvers are blocked. All the uh, all attack of all defensive maneuvers is disabled. Okay, so whew, we need to see what we can do here. Attack and defense. Attack. Attack of maneuvers one and two plus a. Definitely want that. Attack of maneuvers one and two plus eight. So let's have a look at attack. Look at that. Plus eight to that is going to be disgusting. Nice. And attack of maneuvers one and two plus eight. So two is seven there. Uh, and a seven there. Defense of all offensive maneuvers. Defense of all previous maneuvers. Attack. One or two of the enemy units will be destroyed. Nice. So that gives us two, three torpedoes. This looks like a dive bomber. Attack of this maneuver plus six if maneuver three is supportive. Hell yeah, it is. 
Oh, damn. The analysis of the country suggests that three to four enemies will be destroyed. Boosting offense further may help. Defense, uh, defense of the next two maneuvers. We need an offense, don't we? Defense of all offensive maneuvers plus 75. This strategy ensures total annihilation. <gasps> nice. One, two, three. Three dive bombers, three torpedo bombers. Nice. Let's confirm that bad boy and get that back to us over here. Let's confirm. Confir oh, yeah. One. So what do we have? So we got... I think, didn't we bring up, so we need a dive bomber, dive bomber, torpedo bomber, torpedo bomber. Should be good, he says. Come on, come on, come on. I always fail this damn mission, you see. Launch airstrike. Get him away! <laughs> Launch, <laughs> you crazy fools. Go, go, go. Nice. Who's this dude? Psh, whatever. Fly the planes, one, two. Let's go and get rid of this skank. Issue a fighter squadron on the deck. Yes, of it. You suckers. Nice. Get in. I've never done that before. It always crashes. I always, I always kill my fleet. Boom, sucker. So good to see. No! What? Okay. Uh, okay, so yeah, let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of the scout. Stand we'll do that. These guys are coming back soon. Um, I don't have carrier cap. Uh, carrier cap. Send this combat air patrol in order to boost defense capabilities of the target. Your fighters will assist. Do you know what? I think, yeah, I want to try that as well. I don't know if that works. I haven't seen if that works, but I want to do that. So, I'm going to do one and two fighter planes, please. Issue a fighter squadron on the deck. One. Issue a fighter squadron on the deck. Two. Send this combat ever in order to boost defense capabilities of... of Is that just a carrier cap? Yeah, that's just like a carrier cap. Uh, I think I'm going to recon this area here, followed by kind of here. Let's do that, I think. Didn't I just launch that? Launch, launch. What? Oh well. Oh, we're, we're, out, we're out of here. That's fine. Oh, actually, I need to launch. Just launch a carrier cap. Send this combat patrol on. Yeah. Start engines. Let's just launch it. Hey, mate, I'm going to jump off. Thanks for stream, lad. Have a good one. See you later, Matty. Appreciate your company, dude. Stay safe, brother. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, so let's go and defend this now the best we can. We can take care of this scout. That's going in time. Uh, we've got retrieval coming as well. So as soon as these fighters are gone, we're going to start retrieval. Let's do that. Uh, recover. So it's all about now, I'm guessing, protecting that fleet the best we can. Um, so we don't have a lot left when it comes to planes and stuff, but we are where we are. Let's retrieve these back. Hopefully nothing crashes. Enemy scouts have been destroyed. Good. Yeah, so we got a lot to retrieve here. 
Tactical map. I'm not seeing anything else on the tactical map at the moment, but it is as it is. Um, can we? No, we can't. I was going to say, can we at the moment repair our ships and stuff, but we can't. We are still recovering aircraft, though, so that's good. I'm, I'm well nervous now. <laughs> I've got to defend them for five hours. I am well... <laughs> you know, you're like... Ugh. I am well nervous. Um... Yeah, let's retrieve these. I'm not quite sure why these are red, but and retrieve and recover these. There we go. We got two fighters in, so we're good. What a plonker! Damage control, go please. Let's check map quick. Yeah, look at this boy, man. This boy is holy moly. He is hauling some, isn't he? Holy smokes. Yeah, we're flat out as well. Damn. We do have damage control on the way to fix that. He says. Here they come. Again, don't forget that once you've done that, you have to go to recovery and retrieve your aircraft. Because if you don't, you leave them behind. Okay, so we've got four. We've got four fighters. That's not bad. I'll take that. One, two, three, four. Come on, baby. Nice. Let's whip them around to la launch. I want... Where is this? This is an Allied fleet. Where is this going? Um. I want to scout up here. In fact, can we change our... I think we should be able to. Yeah, we can. Let's go for... Increased visibility. Let's see what's about. See if there's anything we need to attend to. See, I'm not seeing anything here at the moment that's concerning me. But that doesn't mean to say it's not going to cause me an issue in four hours. Um, let's have a look for... Nice. Recon. Prepare. Kind of in this area here. Yeah, let's do that. And then we can call the aircraft... Uh, call the... Yeah, let's do that. Confirm that. Let's launch that. Launch nice. It's the best I can do, I think. You know what I mean? Uh, in theory. Who is this? Who? who the ch Fight plane? We'll bring, it, we'll bring another one up. I'm down with that. Three hours, twenty minutes. We are mobile, fifty-three percent. Where's that dance scout, though? Where is that dance scout? Let's have a quick check down here. In fact, where is damage? No enemy was detected. You absolute beauty. Yes, sir. Let's move those back into there. Yeah, there we go. Look at that. So in theory, we should be golden here, man. He says, unless there's something coming out here. So here's what we're going to do. I don't think we can launch another recon, actually, which kind of sucks. Um, yeah, we can. We, we do have our trusty sub, I believe. Yeah, submarines available. There we go. Bargain. Nothing. Nothing in range of us here. You absolute beauty. Two hours, 40 minutes on the clock. Tactical map. Ooh, hello. What are you? We yeah, we want to see that. I think. I want to see what that is. Mm. Let's turn towards that. Let's start heading towards that. I mean, in theory, we should be good to go at uh, one thirty. Oh, yeah, the bloody thing's turning towards them as well. Current order has expired. Um, 45. 
I'm going to do it again. Nice. 55. Come on, baby. Unless there's something coming in here, which I sincerely hope not. That's not good. Do we have... Do we have items on the deck? We do have items on the deck. And uh, launch those Stand bad boys. See you later, suckers. Question is, where's those scouts come from, though? That's what makes me nervous. Where's that come from? Defend your allies. Three, two, one. Now what? Uh, uh. Defeat enemies targeting allied ships to ensure it's safe arrival. Um. Oh, I wonder if it needs to arrive at the uh, at the port and stuff. So I'm going to stop here. We have everything we need, we've got fighters in the place. Admiral, we are receiving reports of enemy reinforcements heading in our direction. There are two viable courses of action. We can take them head on and launch airstrikes, but they may be approaching from all directions. Alternatively, you could plot an escape route to get the strike group off the Solomon Sea, avoiding any altercation. Reaching any of these areas will ensure the carrier safety. Awaiting your decision, sir. That's my boy. <laughs> we out. We out of here. Uh, what we're we looking at? Thirty-seven percent. Okay, so we're looking at thirty-seven percent. I also would like. Uh, so I'm not fussy about those. They can jog off. Nice. Um, do we have retrieval then? We do have retrieval. Let's go for recovery and retrieve aircraft. Retrieve aircraft. And retrieve aircraft. Sir, your low deck a member of your staff requires Send urgent DC medical teams aid. Now. Have a DC team transport to, to the infirmary. Jesus Christ! What's going on here? All of a sudden, holy moly! Um, right, that's malfunction. We can get that repaired from up there. This is. Awaiting orders. Aye, aye. Crew injury. Let's start people running. We are recovering aircraft. Uh, hold off the oncoming attacks by launching airstrikes of your own. Reach the edge of the map to get the safety. So, it looks like we just have to reach the edge of the map. Okay, so we are recovering aircraft, that's fine. I'm more than happy with that. Let's have a look at our crew. What's going on with the crew? This geezer's just been rescued, so that's fine. He's looking good. Yeah, so that's the damage control over here. So this is damage control one that ran the full length of the boat. So happy with these. Let's move these back over to the pumps because I've got a sneaky feeling we're going to get attacked. Okay. We can go for... I'm going to go for improved visibility. In theory, it's going to give us uh, a bit of a a takedown on that. Yeah. <laughs> cool kids also launch attacks while escaping. Just saying. 23 months, dude. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Appreciate that, my brother. Thank you. Thank you for your support. Yep. I'm not, I've never been one of the cool kids, though, dude. <laughs> I'm 
I prefer the uh, slippy when wet. Let's get let's get the uh, let's get the fudge out of here. That's my philosophy. We is yeah, we is gone. Supply issues again. Thirty one percent. Uh, I know. I'm feeling quite confident. The thirty one percent, dude. We've been detected by the enemy. You see, that makes me nervous because where? And are we mobile? I think we are mobile. We are moving 30%. So the question is, is are we at 20% by the time we get here, or are we in a world of pain? The fact that these guys are jogging off, I'm not particularly fussy about. It is... Um, is everybody landed? I think they are. So here's what we're going to do. Let's whip the deck round for launching. for launching. There is a fire below deck. Sir, damage control is needed. So not seeing anything that side. So it's definitely Awaiting this orders. fire control here. Okay. Yes, yeah, so they need they need to get a fast wiggle on. That's right outside the way. 27%. What I want to do is I just want to I'm quite happy up here. Let me just take the map off there. I'm quite happy up here. What I want to see if anything is kind of in this section here that's stopping me. Or what I could do is kind of aim diagonally out there. But at the moment, I'm just going to make the flat B line there. I'm hidden from the enemy because I'm in this kind of... In fact, let's do that. I'm hidden from the enemy because we're in there anyway. There is a fire below deck. Sir, damage control is needed. Right, let's have a look. See where this is. Oh. Ready. Aye, aye. Come on, boys. Have a... Get you... You know what I mean? Have a little bit of AI. Lazy dogs. Are they putting it out? What is the room? Workshop. Okay. I can't believe it's giving me a cheeky escape though. Like what the fudge? That was difficult enough to to do that. Oh, okay. Like I was gonna say, is they putting it out or they stop firefighting now? I, I didn't hear that. Again, I, I I genuinely think this should be out of commission for a little bit of a. A little bit of a duration because there's been a fire in the room and stuff. Yes, sir. Let's move those boys back. We have everything in place. Everything's good. We are repairing fighters and planes. 24%. Are we going to need a resupply? I think we are, and that's going to suck. How? When we're in here. That's interesting. How have we been detected by the enemy? 2126. Can I actually launch an aircraft here? Can I launch a recon? Does it let me? Because I want to see what's going on down here. And I'm going to bring it back to... There. Start engine. Let's let me launch it. Okay. Fine. It's just going to give me the visibility that I want. Nothing more, nothing less. That's it. That's it. I think we complete the prologue. I'm sure. Why is the... Uh... Wasn't there three? Wasn't there three missions? And that, bear in mind, we've done those on hard as well. Do you want to skip a tutorial? Yes, please. Is that it? We can't turn. Let's just click continue. See if it forces us to go back to the tutorial we've just done. I thought, I'm sure that was three. I'm just going to click launch. Yeah, it is. No, it is just those two. Ah, there you go. Prologue has been complete, boys and girls. Nice. Get in. Finally beat Solomon Island. Who had the money against me? Come on. Who had the money against me? You know you all did. I know you all did. That is a right. That is a good place to end the stream there, then, boys and girls. That is victorious. Uh, that took uh, what two hours and twenty minutes, give or take. Bearing in mind, I know uh, the fundamentals, the ins and outs, and how to play the game and stuff. So, yeah. 
Hope you find that useful. Uh, we will play the third one when when that becomes available and continue and stuff. We'll probably have to do all three again, actually, which kind of sucks because I click the continue button because I'm a Muppet. But that's just the way it goes. Guys, I really appreciate your company. Thank you so much for joining me. It is absolutely wonderful. Um, looking forward to doing some VR stuff, too, uh, now that we have a VR uh, site so, OG, oh, thank you much for the, the bits and the subs and stuff. Uh, let me just have one more there. Uh, Longbow11, thank you, brother, for the follow. Uh, and if you don't know who Longbow11 is, by all means, guys, you really genuinely should go and check him out. The man is really good and knowledgeable about the game. Let me just see who else, if, if anybody else is streaming this. Uh, if they are, then yeah, we'll, I'll send you over to them. Uh, Aircraft carrier survival. It is funnily enough. This is the only one that lets me do that. Um, who have we got? Uh, Doctor Proof is playing. I think. Damit an, dass die Weltkarte keine war echte Weltkarte ist. Du bewegst dich zwar darauf. Right. I think we just call it there, guys. In fact, no, I, I know someone who I can host. Uh, Apex Legends, if any of you guys are into Apex Legends. This, this woman is lovely, though, so to be fair. So um, yeah. Chaos, but we don't have so on that note, boys and girls, I am going to host. She is lovely, house, playing so Apex Legends. Uh, just, uh, um, let me see if I can do that for you. Uh, one sec. Oh, it's Welcome. just Raid, actually, I think. Is that how it works? You meant like you're also a nurse. I thought you meant it in I don't have permissions for that no. action. Well, hang on a minute. Okay. Let's have a look then. One sec. Let's go back to my well, own channel. Let's have a there look you then. go. Let's go back to my own well, channel. Slash. Slash raid. There we go. Got it. Uh, this channel is intended for mature TMTC use raid recommendations. Uh, this channel is intended for mature TMTC use raid recommendations. There you go, guys. Have a good one. Stay safe. Stay healthy. See you next one. Have a good one. Stay safe. Stay healthy. See you next one. It's different if it's the last one. More difficult.